All right, I'm gonna do a little uh, short tranny video here. I had a question on uh, transmission jumping out of uh, either third or fourth gear, what would cause it. And then we uh, have a pedal issue too, so we'll go over a couple things. Uh, I don't want to get too dirty here. This is what you call a slider. Okay, this is what uh, actually engages the gear. It locks in these splines here. This slides over the synchro. Then onto the synchro hub, a ring. And that's actually what drives the car. It drives the gear ratio from the gear, and this is actually what moves the car forward. As this slider locks into this dogs, dogs is what they call them. It drives the car. Now if these dogs get rounded off or you miss a gear and you round them off real bad, you have to pull the tranny apart and break the bad ones off. And if there's enough good ones left, it'll hold the gear. If not, you might have to replace the gear. First and second, the hub is part of the gear. Third and fourth, the uh, uh, synchro hub presses onto the gear. Here's a... Uh, fourth gear I believe you can see how it's two pieces there it's got the synchro ring and then the gears on the inside this is the area where we weld them in the drag car where you hear the term welded third and fourth uh, you weld the synchro hub to the gear so they don't slide or uh, slip uh, if the gear actually drove the car this wouldn't be an issue but actually these teeth are what are driving the car so uh, as you increase the horsepower it makes this slide slip on the hub in the gear and the car doesn't go anywhere so we weld that there these uh, little dogs are more than likely you're popping out a gear issue uh, here's the fork shift fork uh, shift fork can be out of adjustment quite a bit and still not cause an issue uh, basically we have the slider here I'm getting dirty here and we have our fork and our fork rides in the center of that slider and you know depending on what gear you want first or second you know it moves on the shaft uh, it's got a set screw that hardly ever comes loose these can bend they have uh, steel ones and brass uh, depending on the year of your tranny 72 could have a brass shift fork could be bent not engaging all the way more than likely the dogs uh, the other issue you can check is uh, make sure your coupler where the shift rod meets the transmission there in the back Make sure your coupler screw is in the detent here There's a detent on top of the rod make sure your uh, grub screw is in that detent and that everything's lined up there Now as far as the free pedal on the clutch a Couple issues there more than likely the cross shaft is broken that holds the release bearing it's got a little uh, fingers that go down and hold that release bearing on if those break off the release bearing will cock to one side and the pedal will go to the floor and nothing will happen so uh, you have to pull the motor out to check that uh, make sure your push rod or your uh, preload tubes in good shape that's the tube that goes from the chassis to this bracket should have a slight bow in it that's what keeps the clutch from chattering and uh, there you go, that's a few little things you can check. Sort of how the transmission works there. Uh, more than likely you're gonna have to go into that box and uh, do some work in there. I do sell trannies, I do have a core here. Could rebuild it. Uh, I charge uh, 750 for a stock box. That includes shipping to you. Uh, if you don't wanna ship the core to me, then there's a small core charge of $100. So, uh, if you need to call me on the phone, uh, go ahead and give me a call. Hope that helps you out. And uh, like I said, check that stuff out. And uh, it should be one of those, one of those things.